our mind is only like a small fraction of what actually happens, right? And our body keeps the score. I like to think of the body as the unconscious part of us, right? It's like when you chop a chicken's head off, the body's still fucking running, (laughs) right? Like it's still doing it. So you have to be able to release the thing. Like, so for example, if you're like, see someone and you're like getting angry every time you see them, like that tells me there's still a somatic response in your body to that person. Like you actually haven't healed it. You've just told yourself you're good. Mm. You've told yourself, mm. but if you're still getting angry, that shit's still there. You're not fucking clear. You're just fooling yourself. And this is where people like actually need to be like, hold on a second. Like, let's get actually clear. Let's let's get this shit out of my body through different modalities, different meanings. If it's anger, bring it up. What does that do for your body? Does it need, make you need to move? Does it make you need to scream? Does it make you need to yell? Like you actually need to physically feel it to heal it. If you suppress Mm. that stuff, right? And you spoke about the volcano. The analogy I like to use is it's like a frozen Coke bottle, right? And you, if you put a Coke bottle in the freezer for too long, like it eventually it bursts everywhere and it fucks your freezer. Like it literally, it throws Coke everywhere. If it's a glass bottle, it will shatter everything else. Mm. Um, you know, and this is what our emotions do they take over everything like and think about like you know the days where you've spilt coffee on your shirt right (laughs) you're not angry that you've spilt coffee on your shirt you're angry about every single scenario that has led to that coffee on your shirt and if you don't learn how to release your emotions what you're going to find is that you're literally blowing your cap off the tiny over the tiniest little things constantly Uh 